So it is November 1st. Why are we chopping our tropical milkweed down? Well, tropical milkweed is not native to the United States. There's all sorts of research going on and different things, but the latest opinions are that the monarchs believe that they're in Mexico when they start coming in contact with this, and then they want to hang out and they want to set up nests and others come. Um, and then unfortunately we get a big freeze in and they're all dead, all of the caterpillars, the eggs, it's, it's over. So we want to encourage them to keep on migrating. They'll stop here for a drink of nectar, but we don't want them laying any eggs after November 1st. We want them to get going. So if you do find some eggs or caterpillars on your milkweed, uh, what I do is I will get a pot, fill it with water, or bucket, I should say, something without a hole at the bottom, and fill it with water, and then put your milkweed right inside the plastic, and then protect it in some way. Uh, last year, I brought home all of our clippings from this nursery and had my own from home. So I put up a tent that people actually sleep in outside. I put that up in my backyard, and then I put the giant buckets of milkweed in there. I let the caterpillars um, hatch out, and then you know I would check every day, see you know if somebody was flying around, let them out, and so forth and so on, so we can stop that cycle. So I'm putting this in an enclosure, showing you that we want to protect it from anything laying on it. We are just saving it for food. Then, as soon as your butterflies emerge from their chrysalises, you would let them go, and then you can compost uh, your tropical milkweed at that point, after you know that no one else is using it. Now, as far as Rainbow Gardens goes, we will continue to buy tropical milkweed from our suppliers as it is available, but it will stop becoming available soon. It's getting too cold. However, we are going to try to cover that with some type of netting so that the butterflies can't lay on it. But some people say, well, why do you have it then? Well, because some people may, their plants may have been bombed with eggs and then all of a sudden a bunch of caterpillars ate them down and then they've got caterpillars that haven't reached maturity yet, but still need some caterpillar food, which of course could only be milkweed if they're monarchs. So we are going to be selling that as baby food, but we will be covering it up with a net so that nobody else can lay on it. So we just wanted to let you know, please, 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 chop down your tropical milkweed for this winter. Let those monarchs migrate through. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.